political voice than we have now. We've got to fight that, guys. Thanks for your support in the swaps. We're going to stop the swaps. Oakland, we're fighting hard. It's our libraries. It's our fire service. It's our youth programs. It's our senior programs. It's a big deal, and it's got to stop now. Thank you so much. Sorry about that, viewers. I had somebody try to call me a couple times here. All right, so now I'd like to point out, actually, who some of these bad bankers in there are uh, who are funding Prop 32 are on the inside uh, inside right now. David L. Bassin, Wealth Advisor for Morgan Stanley. Anuka M. Balog, Financial Advisor to Morgan Stanley. Mark Friedenberg, Banker at Wells Fargo. Adam Irie, Real Estate at Wells Fargo. Wade Winter, Banker at City National Bank. William Bronza, real estate agent of Bank of America. These bankers want to be the only voice in politics. They know that voices of librarians, nurses, firefighters, and community members are more powerful than anything they can buy. So they want to silence our unions. Are we going to let them do that? No! Are we going to let them do that? Yes, no! No way! So now I'd like to introduce someone who can connect a little bit on the Prop 30, 32, and the bankers. Uh, I, will, I would like to w give a warm welcome to Tim Paulson from the San Francisco Labor Council. All right. Great. Thank you, Ramses. Listen, it's great. It's middle of the week. It's campaign season. We've got labor community and Occupy all coming together for the same causes that we've been screaming about all year round. The foreclosure crisis. Everything that is bad with the financial system really comes to a, a hilt in a, in a type of a protest that we have today. Proposition 32, for those of you who don't know, was carefully written by these knuckleheads inside and their, and their consultants. And it was written in a way so that if you looked at it, it would say, well, this is going to shut down the corporations as well as the unions. Well, it's a total lie. No one 32 is a total lie. It only shuts down workers and their unions. The super PACs, all of the people at Citizens United said, and I think it was you that said, corporations are people, that's a bunch of BS. They still get to write all those checks. The next thing you know, if Proposition 32 passes, Meg Whitman types will be the governor next time around. You know, it's spent like 15 to 1 as it is, but it's been on the street and having troops to get stuff done. They want to take away R1. That's what this is all about. We really encourage everybody to get to vote. We also want to say that the Prop 30 that's on the ballot, which is going to be able to fund more schools and social services, it's the same corporados that are throwing money to try to defeat that also. I mean, their agenda is clear, it's vicious, it's bad, and we have to keep on the street. We have to vote. We have to continue to move forward. So I want to thank everybody, midweek campaign season, for coming out for this rally to make sure that we make our, our voices heard. And what makes it even worse, that this is, in San Francisco, this Hyatt is a boycotted hotel. So they've essentially crossed the picket line to get into this hotel to do the nefarious business that they're done. So everybody's coming together. It doesn't get any worse than this. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. And i got to run because i got to get I want to make sure that all of us get Eric Moore re-elected. Hey, and so in terms of getting out the vote and talking to our neighbors and fellow uh, San Franciscans and, and Oaklanders about what's all going on, here in San Francisco, these next two Saturdays, we're going to be doing election mobilizations. This Saturday from SEIU 10 to 1's office at 10 a.m. And the following Saturday from ACES office at 10.30. I have some flyers about it that I'm going to pass around. Please come go door knocking with us. Talk to neighbors about 30 and 32 and help us get uh, have a, a, a stronger country because of it. So I'm going to pass this off to Ross. ACV. Great. Do it. Hey, it's very important that we get out here and like uh, our uh, delegate there, that's for the union, uh, say Proposition A, Proposition C, Measure, Measure, Measure C, Measure E, uh, those are very important. We want to tax the corporations downtown here in San Francisco, and that's what E will do. It will give us extra money in the kitty for the city. And they, I hope that they use that also to uh, develop homes like Proposition C stands for. 
Brothers and sisters for our community to get the homes for seniors, homes for low-income folks, to have that that power, that 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 opportunity to have a home that they can call their own. That's what Prop C is going to support. Prop A, like you said, is for the schools, but you know, Prop C can invest in both of those. If we just go ahead and do what we have the power to do, and that's vote. Get out there and vote. And pass it on to your friends and your neighbors. And so even people you don't like, tell them they got to vote. Because if we don't vote, we don't have nobody to blame but ourselves when we see things are not going our way, the working people way. All right, pass it on. Okay. Thank you, everybody. We, yeah, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for coming out. Don't forget to vote yes on 30, no on 32. Thanks to the folks who have spent their afternoon out here to hold the banks accountable, and especially to the folks who went on the inside to try to do that as well from the inside. We now we just want to finish with a little with a little chant for everybody. Yes. Don't believe 32 eyes. Get out there and organize. Don't believe 32 eyes. Get out there and organize. Don't believe 32 eyes. Get out there and organize. Don't believe 32 eyes. Get out there and organize. Don't believe 32 eyes. Get out there and organize. So where's our next big rap? Yeah. Come on. Where's the next? Yeah. All right, and everyone assembled. Uh, I would like to bring up an interesting situation that occurred about 45 minutes ago in front of the Fed. One of our occupied comrades, Mick Grady, was arrested for allegedly littering. But it wasn't only his detention and arrest that was interesting about this alleged littering scam. It was the fact that the cops pushed his head into the ground. And we feel that is quite inappropriate for a usually courteous SFPD. So if everyone can show their support for the continuing Occupy sites at the 101 and at Montgomery Post, please, you're all invited to hang out with us anytime. But please try to show support for Mick and the rest of the 101 tribe who are constantly under the threat of arrest for doing what they do best, which is standing up against no sit, no lie, and asserting our First Amendment rights until we die. Yes, Way to go, Pirate Mike. Anyway, folks, I guess the protest is over. Uh, not much more to say. We had a nice little turnout. I guess we got our point across today. I kind of wish it was a little more militant. But other than that, uh, we'll be seeing you on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. at 450 Golden Gate for uh, stop surveillance, stop state surveillance demonstration at the Bureau of Homeland Security. And then at 1 p.m. at Salesforce Incorporated. So I hope to see you then. This is Freeman Sullivan signing off. <laughs>